Hi, uh, I'm Andrew. I'm uh, one of the uh, volunteer trustees for Forever Hounds Trust. Um, and I'm just doing this introduction at the end of what's been a really interesting day for, for me and my wife, who's also a volunteer. Um, we've been doing a, a transport run for two dogs, um, which we were asked to do at short notice because of the current situation, the way things are. It, we needed to, to react quickly to get two dogs. I wanted to take you on this journey with us to see um, how things just have to remain the same for, for us when we're in, in rescue. Um, but to take this uh, opportunity right at the beginning of the, of the message to say, we are going to, everyone is going to really struggle during this coronavirus outbreak. Uh, we're not going to be able to do all the events that we had planned and raise all the money that we, we were hoping to raise. And to urge you, if you can think of new ways to, to, to raise money, or, or donate funds, um, we we know that we'll be able, with your help, to, to keep looking after these amazing dogs. So uh, I've had a call this morning, I'm off work, which is great. I'm a volunteer like you all. Um, I've had a call to say, is there any possibility that I can do a transport run, um, drive up to three counties across, pick up a couple of dogs from a trainer, it was due to happen on Thursday, but for one reason or another, it's not going to happen. So um, I've put the T-shirt the on and uh, I'm going to um, do a little video as I go through the day and show you a little bit of, of how, how important our role can be. So here we are. at the. This is uh, life in the fast lane. And... Uh, Literally just off the A303, we've come to pick up these two dogs. And as you can see, they're very friendly. <laughs> this, gi this giant boy and a smaller, much smaller girl. Swifty and Chance. Oh. Swifty and Chance. Yeah, we've got a Swifty here and Chance. And uh, they've come from Jason, the trainer, who we get lots of lovely dogs from. And they're always in beautiful condition, as you can see these two are. And look at that for friendly. It's not like a... So we're uh, safely in the car now, as you can see, the dogs are, are at the back, quite happy, um, just about to settle down. Um, two beautiful dogs, as always, from this chap. And um, great, we're, uh, we're about to set up. We're volunteers, aren't we, you know? So we do what, what we can, when we can. Um, if we can respond, if it's in our ability, we do, and that's how it should be. Uh, and that comes down to fundraising as well. So um, if there's anything you can do to help us to keep doing this for these amazing dogs, then that would be great. Start coming up with the ideas and let us know. So does anyone recognise what this is up here? It's blue sky. Yeah, blue sky, I know. Uh, so we've arrived at the uh, kennels. We're going to put our wellies on now, get the dogs out, let you have a proper look at them before we go so you can see... At the end of the day, you're only interested in the dogs, not me. Come on, sweet. So, here we go. There they are. It's Come good, on, actually. It's a really good example of, of uh, two dogs here. If you look at the difference in the size. Uh, the black boy is called Chance, and he's a giant. And the, little, and the girl is called Swifty, and she's a Diddy. So put them next to each other. It's, it's quite funny to see, but look at them, aren't they? Just beautiful. Bit of an early play, Swifty. Oh, let's get it round you again. That's it. It's actually all his muzzle that. So that's a little lurcher's muzzle. That shows you how little she is. Yeah. But she's incredibly playful and sweet. Yeah. Put your ear down. I'm uh, being pulled across here because I've got this giant. And he is a big strong lad, but he's beautiful. I mean, he's actually walking relatively well, considering he doesn't know me, he doesn't know where he is. He's just, you know, he's got no idea. He's doing absolutely brilliantly, isn't he? So here's Chance. Chancey, come on, boy. Just a quick uh, swizz around while, uh, before we go and put them in the kennels. He's just such a lovely, lovely affectionate lad um, he's a nice lad look he wants to come and be with you all the time hello boy hello come a long way today haven't you mate and here's swifty she's, 
She's such a sweet little thing. Come on, come on, come on, let's go. She doesn't like her muzzle, this one, which suggests she's probably not had it on very often. As she's only two. Hello, hello, say hello to everybody. What do you like with a ball? Are you any good with a ball? Oh yeah, I like a ball. We'll have a ball. You like the old adoring public? There you go. Say hello. I'm very, very pretty. Yes. Thank you. These dogs have not come to us in terrible condition. They're clearly loved and happy very well adjusted and it's nice to see that but here they are safely ready for the new the new homes so this was swifty we don't like that name by the way we think that one could change so that, that'll be up to kim moon who's the re -home, the renaming officer for devon and i'll just come down here and the big lad has already settled in He's a lovely big boy, just full of affection. Chance, nice name, suits him that. And we think Chance is five, yeah, and Swift is two. So there you go, mate. Say goodbye. Say thank you for following me on my journey to Devon. Please remember at this difficult time for us all that you know life does carry on. We continue to do our our really hard work. Um, to help dogs like this on their journeys and uh, yeah that's that's what we do so keep on supporting us keep on fundraising keep trying to find new ways to fundraise